Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Three Questions with an Elk. I am joined today by Jim Dixon, member of Cocoa Beach, Florida, Lodge number 2387. Thanks so much for being here, Jim. Well, thank you for asking us. Absolutely. The first question that I have for you today is, what motivates you to serve veterans? And how did you get started as a volunteer? Uh, I, I served 21 years in the Air Force. I joined in 1967 and retired in 1988. Um, one of the things, one of my goals when I retired was I wanted to move near a uh, active military installation. Hmm. And I was successful in doing that because I'm about seven miles from Patrick, now Space Force Base. It used to be an Air Force Base and now it's Space Force Base, uh, which has a lot of active duty Air Force personnel on it. But what I found is that when I moved here, they they had representatives from all of the, the major services. The Navy has an operational test unit here where they load missiles onto submarines. Uh, Coast Guard has two or three ships at their Coast Guard station. Uh, the Army is not um, real well representative except in the high schools when uh, they have the Army uh, Junior ROTC battalions uh, in a lot of the high schools around here. And I actually do a lot of interface with the one here at Cocoa Beach High School. So. Uh, that's that's been um, I, I guess you know the way we kind of work things we we are also very lucky fortunate to have a great team of partners with us um, there's an active veterans administration building here complete with a clinic and all the counseling that goes with that we have a, a excellent volunteers of america organization and in coco florida about 15 miles from us, they actually run an 80 bed veterans village over there, uh, yeah. uh, allowing service, or not retired, but anybody that's a vet to, that doesn't have a permanent place to live, uh, they'll, they'll give you a place to live over there for up to two years till you find um, what, where you really want to go. Uh, yeah. We also, we also have, we work with uh, a lot with the uh, support services for veterans families. They have an organization here. Uh, and we, we also have a, a commercial partner called Down the Road Thrift. It's actually owned by a Navy vet. And it's a 501c3 charitable organization. And they are the key to us uh, working our focus grant program where we are providing furniture to veterans that are moving into permanent housing and they provide all the, the vehicles the logistics and everything we give them a fee for that and we've done i think i don't know 118 sets of furniture over the last two and a half years wow um, that's incredible yeah it's it's really a good program we couldn't do it without this commercial partner that we've got so and then i can't stop i uh, can't help but mention our do local dollar general store um, the, the store manager there is a uh, Army vet, and that is the store that we do all of our shopping for our welcome home kits. At. It's about three three uh, blocks up the road from us, and they give us tremendous support. Wow. Sounds like you've built a lot of really strong partnerships in your community. We have. To make yes, this all we, have. we have. Very cool. Uh, well, my next question for you is, um, can you name one or a couple of your favorite veterans projects that you've participated in over the years? Yes, um, I mentioned Welcome Home Kits. That's probably our, our biggest, most successful program. I all kind of started when I attended the 2016 National Convention in Houston. I first met Mary Morgan down there and we started talking about Welcome Home Kits. I had never heard a thing about it through normal Elks channels until I went to the convention. Mm -hmm. And I came back, I talked to the, the lodge. I said, hey, this, guys, we got to do this thing. This is, this is pretty easy. Um, and Mary thought we were doing such a good job. She asked us to make about a five minute video of how we conduct our welcome home kit program. Uh, hired a, a local, we hired a local video company here. They did about three hours of raw film, sent it up to uh, national. And they cut it down to five minutes and it was actually showing at the 2017 national convention. I don't know if you've seen the film yet or not. I have, yeah, it's really cool. 
And I think Mary has told me before that she takes that film with her on the road <laughs> and gives it and shows other other lodges. So we're really proud of that. In fact, I'm going shopping tomorrow with six vets. And if we were successful, we will have completed 459 of these welcome home kits over the last four years. So that's it's, so exciting. What an accomplishment. You, yeah, you guys fund all that by mm -hmm. by reimbursing us. Uh, and that's greatly appreciated. And I guess the other one that would strike me would be the focus grant program. And I mentioned that the furniture piece, uh, it's really good to see veterans move into permanent housing and they're all over the spectrum as far as needs go. So when we can deliver a set of furniture and it's not junk, it's, it's good solid furniture that uh, it's basically been donated to this thrift shop and they, they, they get it delivered and, and out to the folks. So those are the two things that I'm the most proud of. Great answer. All right, and the third question going a little bit of a different direction. Can you tell me who you would want to play you in a movie and why? <laughs> um, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and I thought about that and I actually, um, I was looking for somebody that had been in the military famous person of Ben Venom and I look for John Wayne and he was not the answer he never served but he, had, he, he did a lot during World War II as far as making movies that you know tried to improve the morale in the United States but Clint Eastwood I found out served two years in the army during the Korean War and he was such a good swimmer they made him a lifeguard at Fort Ord so he, his whole career was at Fort Ord as a lifeguard for the pool. So he did serve though. <laughs> yeah, I had never heard that. That's a really good answer. I like that, Clint Eastwood. And he's a, he's a real true American, very patriotic. 